at the intersection of 31st and P Streets in Church Hill. The only changes in more than 60 plus years are the faces and modes of transportation. These were intentional and, and very thoughtful images. But across Richmond, some Kodak moments from long ago paint a much different picture. The landscape, the buildings have changed drastically. From row houses along East Canal Street to a corner store nestled at the foot of Gambles Hill, all gone. The only survivor, a set of stairs. There's not even a hint, a shadow of those neighborhoods. These snapshots from another time, thousands of them were the work of one person. So there are entire chunks of the city, large chunks of the city that no longer exist. Edith Shelton carried her camera everywhere. She had an incredible eye for composition. Bill Martin, the executive director of the Valentine, says the amateur photographer wore out lots of shoe leather across Carver and Carytown to Libby Hill and Lee Street. You know, the notion that in 1955 there would have been stables and there still would be delivery, horse-drawn delivery wagons in 1955 on the streets of Richmond. That's incredible. Miss Shelton had a knack for photographing neighborhoods that would eventually meet the wrecking ball. She really focused a lot on Jackson Ward, uh, Carver, um, the Navy Hill neighborhood. Entire blocks along Baker Street erased. The intersection of Duval Street and Brook Road flattened for Interstate 95. It's capturing a, a slice of Richmond history in the 20th century. Luckily, the, these things um, still exist. Meg Hughes, Valentine's curator of archives. These are eight East Clay images. Says Ms. Shelton would document most of her images from the late 40s to the early 80s. So she, uh, she walked a lot of miles over the years. The information proves invaluable for modern day researchers. This is kind of her gift to the city, really. While Miss Shelton provided specific details about her pictures, little is known about the photographer herself. She attended Randolph-Macon Women's College and worked at the University of Richmond. The motivation to spend lots of time and money on her decades long hobby remains a mystery. And she also focused on neighborhoods that were in transition, neighborhoods that I think she saw disappearing and she wanted to preserve them on film. The street photographer's work is the subject of a new exhibit, Edith Shelton's Richmond Revisited. So there's definitely always something to choose from. Curator of the show, Laura Carr, says a theme emerges studying the photos. If children were around, she liked to have a child in her picture. You know, she loved to photograph cars, colorful cars. Much of Miss Shelton's collection of 6,000 vibrant Kodachrome slides and black and white photos were donated after her death in 1989. This is her legacy here at the museum. One can only speculate what the trailblazer would think of her 21st century hometown. She would be shocked and sad, but also a bit hopeful there would be, be, be more buildings for her to document. Decades can bring seismic change to cities, but through the eye of Edith Shelton, parts of Richmond remain forever frozen in time. I admire her greatly. There probably really wasn't anybody exactly like her. I think she was ahead of her time.